Hi, I'm John from Truby Cars, and today I want to talk about uh, 10 tips for new drivers, okay? Um, so first thing I would say is if you just got your driver's license, start with short trips, okay? Don't make grand plans for, for driving for hours at a time because you just got your driver's license. A lot of new drivers get very, very tired quickly because they're still getting used to all the information and everything that's going on and they're, they're sort of hyper aware of what's going on and, uh, and so they get tired. So, you know, stick to short trips. Um, watch where you park, okay? If you're parking at work, if you're driving to work for the first time, you know, look where the rest of the employees park and park away from customers. Um, if you're at school, um, try to find a spot where your car's not going to get door dings or hit or something like that. So there are better places to park than, than some. Um, remember that you never stop learning about driving, okay? I've been driving for well over 30 years. Every day there's still something that I learn. There's always a new experience. So, so just remember that. Drive to conditions. As you can see, it's a bit wintry today. So we want to make sure that uh, we're driving accordingly. We're slowing down. We're leaving more time, more space. Okay. Um, with a G2 license, you're allowed to drive on all those roads that you weren't allowed to drive on, like the 400 series highways, etc. cetera. Uh, I would suggest the first time you do that, go with somebody. Go with somebody who would be qualified as a co-driver when you had your G1. Um, it is definitely a new experience, especially if you're in the GTA, um, okay? And so I would make sure that I'm with somebody the first couple times that I go on there just so I can kind of get used to it, okay? Uh, the next tip I'd give you is limit your driving at night, especially if you're a young person. A lot of people have something that's called night myopia. So they have a hard time seeing at night. Um, most people outgrow that, okay? Um, and if, if you do suffer from that, um, you'll, you'll notice the big thing would be at night that you're, you're straining your eyes and you're getting headaches. If that is the case, go see your eye doctor and they can usually give you a nice little easy prescription of glasses that you can wear. Okay. Uh, next tip I'd say, remember that the tolerance for alcohol and drugs, uh, as a new driver is absolutely positively zero. Okay. And also that you have to remember that you do have passenger restrictions at night, depending on how old you are, how old the passengers are and all that stuff. All that information is available at the Ministry of Transportation website. Uh, be prepared, okay? Uh, my son the other day went to work just in his, uh, his work shirt um, and it's freezing cold outside, okay? You need to be prepared for any eventuality. Make sure, even if you're not wearing your uh, winter coat, which I'm not wearing my winter coat right now, but it is in the back seat of the car. I also have a spare pair of boots and a winter kit in case I got stuck, okay? So you never know. Make sure you have proper clothing, proper shoes, and, and you're prepared for the weather, whatever it may be. Uh, don't forget to do your circle check, okay? Um, lately, there is a fad going around of people loosening up your lug nuts. Uh, I don't know how new that is because I knew a former instructor who had all four of his tires stolen at one time when he was at a concert. So, uh, uh, you know, make sure that you check uh, for uh, around your vehicle for damage, uh, fluid leaks, uh, direction of tires, your lug nuts, make sure they're, they're on and they're tight, right? And um, no matter what the law says, I would still limit the number of passengers that you have. Uh, young people are at a much, much higher risk of getting in a crash when they have a car full of their peers, okay? Peer pressure, uh, distractions, things like that. So limit the number of people. If you're gonna drive your buddy to school or something like that, maybe keep it down to one person uh, until you've developed the ability to basically uh, ignore the peer pressure and things like that, okay? So this has been uh, 10 tips for new drivers um, and uh, for Truby Cars, uh, drive safe. Okay, so. What else?